So if you're like us and you've been wondering what the heck is a Bucky's, um, we're about to find out. We've seen all these signs before and it's a major gas station. You can see it's row after row after row of gas. But we're going to also go inside and just check it out. So when arriving inside, it basically had the feeling of a gas station store, a country market, and a theme park store with all their themed merchandise all in one. The area to the right was more like a little mini mart with a lot of Bucky's branded snacks. We found out after that Beaver Nuggets is the number one snack at Bucky's. It's a delectable, puffy yet crunchy corn nugget with a brown sugar caramel coating. And I guess it's uh, quite popular. Beaver twists. Beaver nuggets. Beaver nuggets. And over here is where we it felt more like a country market as they had pickled eggs and they had pickled quail eggs. So if you've ever wondered what a quail egg looks like, there's the size. They had pickled okra and a bunch of other pickled items. They also had a variety of jams with some unusual kinds to us, like pr prickled pear cactus. They also then had a large variety of hot sauces and some other market type foods. Something called a buzz bowl, a peach chili, orange wine with orange juice. Hey, can we get some buzz bowls? Yeah, it's orange wine with orange juice. Or orange wine with lime and lemon juices. Oh, what's this one? Pineapple colada. Oh, that sounds neat. Oh, it's still wine. Is it all wine in them? Yeah. Interesting. I'll, I'll try one. Then they had your typical beer, wine, soda, and brand name snacks. They had a very large coffee station, and then what they're well known for, their restrooms. Bucky's has been around since 1982, but they really got famous in 2012 when they won the contest for the cleanest bathrooms. Apparently this still holds true, so if in need, Bucky's is where you want to stop. Which brings us to the Texas Roundup, which is a large counter space in the middle of the store where employees wear yellow cowboy hats and denim aprons. They are busy making the fresh barbecue sandwiches that smell delicious when entering the store. This is one of the things of not to miss when going to Bucky's. If you've tried it, let us know if you think it lives up to the hype. We ended up choosing the barbecue pork and the brisket, and we'll let you know what that was like when we get to the car. If you enjoy fudge, I guess this is the place to go. We've been told great things about it, and they do have quite the variety of flavors. We've heard another not to miss item is the beef jerky. They have around 20 different kinds of beef jerky, some of which are ghost pepper, lemon pepper, mesquite peppered, cherry maple, and bohemian garlic. They have an entire wall of to-go jerky. Yeah, Bucky's blend of coffee, big cinnamon rolls. So they're oh, I like pralines. Making their glazed uh, nuts and hot nuts, and the smell is unbelievable right now. It's so, it smells so good. So here's a look at their bakery with their fresh items. We ended up getting a cinnamon roll and, and splitting it in, in half to try it, and it was very good. In other areas of the store, you'll find household items. 
This is where it really feels like a country store with some of the rooster decorated housewares. Then you're going to find all your various types of clothing branded with the Bucky the Beaver. You'll find pajamas, shirts, baby clothes, dog clothing, almost anything you can think of with the Bucky mascot. You'll find little Bucky's chapstick Bucky, which brings us to why Bucky? There are a few speculations on why it was called Bucky's. The founder, Arch Applin III, was nicknamed Beaver as a kid. He also had a pet dog named Buck. He also had a favorite toothpaste mascot when he was young, which was a beaver called Bucky. More Bucky's t-shirts. If you're not into the Bucky logo, then there is something else for you here too. They do have some brand name items and some clothing. They've got your typical hats, a little tiny fishing area, a little camping area. So there are things um, other than the Bucky mascot. They also do have just a souvenir area, so if you just want something from Florida without Bucky's or any other name, um, they do have a small section here on that. And if you're wondering what the prices are like, a mug like this one here was $9.99. So after our not so quick stop here, we're grabbing something to eat and our 79 cent uh, pop that they have many different flavors for. And we're going to get some gas and hit the road. So if you're concerned about stopping here and they don't have any healthy food options, they do actually. As you walk out the door, there's quite a selection here of healthy food. So we just left Bucky's and it ended up coming to a little bit more money than we thought. I did buy one thing that was not like food related for $9 it was 4421 so this sandwich is pulled pork sandwich alone is 748 US dollars just to keep that in mind and they didn't give us a receipt at the end so we really don't know what everything cost no and Andrew got the brisket I'm not sure how much this was will look after but it is quite big How much was yours? Mine was twelve dollars and fifty cents. It's huge. But it's a little pricey, but it is brisket. Yeah. And uh, here's the inside of the pulled pork. Um, it's it's still very very filling and big, and it is quite tasty. So I would recommend it. Thanks for watching.